Stand up, be counted, for the time is now. There's work to be done and so little time. Hello, Southern Cameroonians. My name is Ntum Foying, Bo Herbert, and I'm coming to you all the way from Washington. I'm bringing you revolutionary greetings from our people in the diaspora in the United States of America. And I'm coming to you to thank you, people of Southern Cameroons, for what you're doing now to make sure that our people are returned to serve rule, for what you're doing to conquer colonialism from Yaoundé. I want first to thank and pay my respects to all those who have fallen, our heroes, those who have been injured, for the families that grieve, we will make sure that your children did not die in vain. It's not going to be free because freedom is not free. But we're going to do everything to make sure that we get to the goal that we seek. I'm speaking to you on behalf of the movement for the restoration of the independence of Southern Cameroons. You may have heard about us, but in the United States, all of us, the organizations that have been working for democracy, for human rights, for the advancement of decent life for our people, we've come together under this movement for the restoration of the independence of Southern Cameroons. Those include the SCNC, Ambazonia, its governing councils, those members here who are members of the consortium that has been recently founded in Cameroon, those of us who are members of the SDF, SCYL, and all our other organizations organizations, CAPO, SCAM, all of us here in the U.S. have come together. We said this is a moment when we should show unity in the way we fight. This is a moment when we should find new legitimacy in our cause. I was one of the believers in a unified Cameroon and I want to tell this house that what has happened to those children in Buya University and in Baminda has convinced me that the people who say Cameroon should go in two parts are correct. And there are more and more of us out there who now believe that it is the ultimate end. And we should be able to tell the world that all these 55 years, our people have gone through the kind of subjugation that is dehumanizing them, and that must end. And if this is what you show us after 55 years, then those who are saying that we should break Cameroon are right. They are correct. The people of West Cameroon cannot be your slaves. We therefore like to thank all those who have done the hard work in the front lines, our lawyers, our teachers, our students. They have paid a heavy price in arrest, in torture, in detention, in the savagery that Yaoundé knows. We greet you and we thank you for your bravery. And we would like to tell you that out in the United States, we said to ourselves, the biggest, most important thing is for us to be united in this cause. And that is why we put together this movement. Morris, it is abbreviated. You may be able to find us on the internet at www.morris.org. But what is Morris going to do? The first thing is to tell you that we have determined that it was not going to be free when we get independence. And so we have to set that date for ourselves, the day when we will be completely done with the colonial power of Yaoundé. And we have fixed that date for Sunday, the 1st of October 2017, when all of us will meet in Boya to restore the independence of our country and to return our people, elected officials, to power. Because you have your army of occupation out in West Cameroon, you believe that when the people will rise, even if you took the whole of the French army and added to yours, you will never bring them down. How do we get there? We've put together a roadmap that you can find at our website. So beginning on the 1st of January 2017, we will go into massive civil disobedience. That civil disobedience will entail on all Mondays, we will have ghost towns across all of Southern Cameroon. So over the weekends, on Fridays and Saturday, please shop. On Monday, stay at home. We must absolutely signal to the world that we are fed up and do not want a colonial government to continue to rule us or to continue to impose its will upon us. 
Does the president of this country know that the governors and the DOs and all the administrators you are sent to West Cameroon are out there behaving exactly like an army of occupation? As we start that month of January 2017, we are asking our chiefs and our funds to know that we would want them to reactivate the House of Chiefs and Funds that was in Southern Cameroon and in West Cameroon in those days. They should reactivate it as the upper chamber of the Interim Congress of Southern Cameroon. The lower chamber will be composed by our elected councillors, our elected mayors, our elected MPs, our elected senators. Obviously, some of them have been appointed by Mr. Beer. They cannot serve our people unless they resign and turn their backs on the colonial government of Yaoundé. So for those of them who are elected, they will constitute the lower chamber of our interim Congress. To them will be added our leaders of the trade unions, like the lawyers, like student movements, like our teachers, like our, trade, our traders, our bikers, our women. These new bodies, who are all elected leaders, recognized leaders, along with the political leaders, like the leaders of the SDF in our regions, of parties like PAP in our regions, parties like the Liberal Party of Njoli Tumbe, they will all get together to constitute our interim Congress. As we start that year, we will, on Sundays and on Fridays, say a prayer for the restoration of the independence of Southern Cameroons, which we intend to pursue in all peaceful manner, but we intend determinedly to obtain it. So we'll say a prayer in our mosque for our Muslim brothers and sisters on Fridays and a prayer on Sunday for the peaceful restoration. As we march along, those of us in the United States will meet on the 21st of January in Washington to put together a leadership for our organization and to help our brothers across the world, everywhere where there are Southern Cameroonians, to set up branches of Morris. Those meetings will hold on the 11th of February 2017, the anniversary of the plebiscite when we voted for independence of Southern Cameroons. When they set up those organizations on the 11th of February, we will be asking them also to designate an ambassador in waiting for Southern Cameroons. They will then start the mission of lobbying their, their host countries about what is about to happen in our country, in Southern Cameroon, and to make sure that the lies that the Yaoundé government is selling to the diplomatic community across the world, that those lies don't continue to go down without our countering them. So when we go through the 11th of February, our next date will be to make sure that we boycott every event that the colonial government organizes. So that means we can go to events organized and chaired by the governors, by the SDOs, and by the DOs. They are so colonial, they even forgot to take off the uniform of the colonial master. They still wear it to official ceremonies, shamelessly. We must make sure that we delegitimize these people. When injustice becomes law, resistance becomes a duty. The people of West Cameroon have a duty to resist your oppression. And we must make sure that our people get together. These are elected officials, councillors, elected mayors, elected MPs, elected senators, that they get together to vote a new governor, elected governor from amongst themselves to lead the Northwest and to lead the Southwest. These will be governors in waiting, like we will have ambassadors in waiting, because we have to make sure that we have ourselves ready to assume full power and full control of our government on the 1st of October 2017. We will then boycott, of course, all events linked to 11 February, when they purportedly celebrate Youth Day. And the only reason they do it is to make sure that they erase our history. So nobody remembers that we voted on a plebiscite on the 11th of February for our independence. We will similarly boycott all events that they organize on the 8th of March, International Women's Day, because the only thing we have seen them interested to do to women 
is to exploit them, is to abuse them, is to rape some of our students. We will boycott those events. And of course, we will boycott 20 May, because 20 May is the date when they celebrate the biggest crime that they've ever perpetrated against the state of Southern Cameroons. Because prior to 20 May, we know exactly what we had in Southern Cameroons. We had a government, we had our own police, we had our ministries organized the way they organized for every people who have served rule. And we had that ever since 1954. There are two Cameroons that came together. On the 21st of April, 2017, which is the anniversary of the date when the United Nations General Assembly voted for independence for Southern Cameroons, the Interim Congress of Southern Cameroons will elect an interim government for the people of Southern Cameroons. And that government will stay in waiting until Sunday, the 1st of October 2017. And on the 1st of October 2017, all of us will converge in Boya, members of that interim Congress and members of our government, and we will inaugurate our government, inaugurate our Congress, and take back our country. Now we know, of course, that they will tell you that those of us who live abroad are encouraging you in the forefront to fight while we stay in safety abroad. That is not true. We are totally united with you in spirit. And you must remember that in the history of defeating colonialism across Africa, the diaspora has been instrumental in working with the people at home to get to that victory. The examples abound. The ones of Nkwemi Nkrumah, Ghana's independence president, who worked here in the United States, but worked with his people at home before going home to take power. We know, of course, examples like even General de Gaulle, who had fled into England and from where he was declared president of France before he went back home. So we are united in purpose. We are united in spirit. We will fight along with you. We will support you. We will bring every single piece of support that you need. And we will, of course, join you on the 1st of October. We, the people of West Cameroon, will resist you. And if you want to take that territory by force, you will kill to the last man before you take it. And you can start from me today. Because our people will live free, or as Honorable Weirba says, they will have to kill every one of us on the 1st of October if they want to take over our motherland, if they want to rule us by force. Again, revolutionary greetings to you. Thank you for the courage and the bravery that you continue to show. Aluta continue. Stand up, be counted, for the time is now. There's work to be done and so little time. With all our minds, we can make this land the center of the universe. All hands on deck, give it all our best. Let justice, truth, and freedom reign for all our sisters and the most high watching. Should we stumble and fall, let us rise, let us shine to place the way for the children, their future. Come make this place a happy home for them. Happy
Hijo.